Hello, Leslie here with this week's spread in my Erin Condren. We're doing the week of October 25th through the 31st, so naturally I'm doing a Halloween kit. This one was sent to me from I'm a Sticker Addict, and I really love Nightmare Before Christmas, so I was like, yes, please, I will definitely be doing that, because I don't think I did, I don't think I did a Nightmare Before Christmas spread last year. So I really like the date covers, but I really don't want to cover them up with the date. So I think I'm going to go ahead and grab these. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it's a little stuck in that corner right there. It doesn't like me. That's fine. Don't have to. Totally fine. Ooh. So we're off to a good start. Okay, so I'm going to stick this down here on the header spot. And then my plan is to grab my date dot sticker and put it above it. So it'll go like this. Is that cool with everybody? Because that's my plan and I'm sticking to it. That's what I'm going for because I didn't want to cover up all the Jack Skellingtons because that's awesome and I want to see it. So I thought that would be a better way to do it. But this way I was like, well, I could lay it down ahead of time or I could show you what I'm going to do. I don't know what you would prefer. Sometimes I put down the date dots and the washi tape ahead of time. But sometimes I'm like, eh, we'll just do it together. So I thought today was a do it together kind of thing. So we have done some a lot of Halloween things already. Just this weekend, we carved our pumpkins, which I shared in my Insta stories. So make sure you're following so you can see them. And then um, we ordered, when we carved pumpkins, we also ordered the Papa Murphy's um, Take and Bake Pizza. They do Take and Bake Pizza. We did the Jack o' Lantern pumpkin, so that one was kind of fun. Oh, I need to wide out that Halloween spot where you're going to be able to see it. And that is not the look we are going for. That is not the look. I gotta wipe this out just a smidgy. There. Got it. Okay, then we put this down. Or else it peeks out. That's the only time you have trouble if you want to put date covers down all the way to your headers. That's the only troublemaker is those holiday things that they pick up there. So I kind of wish they wouldn't. But I know that some people that don't decorate their planners like to have it already in there. Because maybe they would forget all of their holidays without it. I have no idea. <laughs> like, maybe they would. Maybe they wouldn't. I don't know. So we ordered the pumpkin pizza and then my husband and I picked up the stuff to actually make, well, it makes crumbled apples, but we decided we'd be better off just slicing up apples and having apple dip, which is marshmallow cream, um, like a can of it, like a jar of it. And, um, uh, what is it? Eight ounces of cream cheese. You just soften the cream cheese and then you put both in the KitchenAid mixer I'm going to go ahead and lay this out on the bottom because I know that's where I want it. I already know that that's what I want to do. We're going to stick it up where the dots are and use that as our guide for that. And then we're going to use this one. <coughs> Goodness gracious. Excuse me. One little tiny sneeze. All right, so then we're going to have this one on this side. Okay, two is enough, two is enough. Goodness me. All right, so as far as this one goes, I don't usually use the tiny squares, but I do like this full box sticker. So I need to decide on my full boxes and where I want those to go. But I do like this one with kicking the feet up. And I actually have, I don't have a mug, but I do have a little cup. Yeah, <laughs> um, I do have a little cup that I got from the Halloween Spirit Store. There we go. That has Jack and Sally on it. And it's so cute. It's like, it's kind of this tall. I think it was like $2, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> so I am sorry for the sneezing, but we have been packing up our house. And so obviously that causes a lot of dust. So that's the allergy part that I'm feeling right now. Okay, so she's a plant. He's a plant. There's a backpack. You go to school on Monday. But then there's a coffee cup on this one. I'm thinking I want them in the middle, but I can't quite decide. I think that's what I want to do because I think I want the full boxes. So we're going to grab the to-dos and grab the to-dos and put those right here. Maybe I'll space it out a little bit. That one right there. Put this one right here. And then this will go down with this one. That will be fine. And then I've been really like doing the 
double to do full boxes for the weekend. I think that's something pretty unique to me. I think, I don't know, maybe you guys do a weekend checklist too. I just haven't seen a lot of them. But if you do that, I would love to know. If you do the double. Basically, I put one to do and I make a double full box out of my to-do list for the weekend. Just because I feel like it can happen anytime that day. Kind of the plan. So I have packed up. Let's see. What have I been packing? I've been packing mostly craft stuff and then extra bedroom stuff like summer clothes and things like that have been packed up. So hoping to know more soon. But other than that, that's all I can really share. <laughs> okay, so then this one's going to go here. Perfect. And then this one's going to go here and then I'll white out um, with my pin the rest of those boxes. And I'll probably do a freestanding checklist then. So I'll white this out with my pin. I have a link to the pin in the description box below if you're wanting to pick up one of these. I really like having a double full box on the weekend. And one of my favorite things. Yeah. And then I don't care about that line right there. I'll probably end up covering it up anyhow, so it doesn't matter to me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start with these and see where I end up. Um, I'll probably use a freestanding checklist. That corner, the same thing happened on the other one. Okay. This one I'll probably use a freestanding checklist just to make things a bit easier. So then my plan is to do this. Grab the yellow. It's so bright. But there's yellow and like the moon. I think that's what they're he was going for there. Okay, do this one here. And then grab an orange. And then I don't know if I'm going to use the black. Black is hard to write on. I mean, I have that white out pen. So I could do that if I wanted to. I could. Okay, we'll keep it. I'll try to remember to use my white out pen on that day. So it's just going to be one box. Just one box. Okay, then we go back to pink. And then I need to go find a freestanding checklist. I'm pretty sure she includes those. Yep, right there. Yay. Okay, so if I'm after pink, it's yellow. Grab the yellow. Grab the tweezers so you can get that straight on there. That in here. There. Oh, lovely. All right, and then I've been enjoying putting this over here, so I'm going to remember to do that because last week I didn't. I ended up putting it over here and having more of, like, honestly, like a throwback to how I used to plan. So I've been trying to incorporate some of my new stuff. So I think this one is kind of fun. I don't think there's another full box like it. Um, but I do like this one too. But I think I'm going to go with the skulls everywhere. I think that'll be kind of fun. It matches the date cover up there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. I don't think I'm going to stick washi down here. I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. And grab a header. There should be one that says like this week or something. Oh, it says Etsy shop. Here, we'll do that. Did I do that one last time? What did I use before? Did I do, I did new releases. Etsy, what did I do there? Etsy shop, okay. That's what I thought I did. Etsy shop, there you guys got to see my build in spreads that I always forget to show you. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna put a this week sticker for this week's new releases over here. Yay, which I already filmed that video. So that's done. So new releases go up on Friday the 29th. In case you weren't sure that we've changed things around. Okay, there is a happy, the happy Halloween, a hello weekend. It should just say happy Halloween. There we go. I just changed it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, this is going to go right here because I can. I like it. And then we do need two habit trackers. I think I'm going to go with pink and orange. Because they're going to be somewhat near that black. Down there. Okay, so there you go. Got that. And then I go just up a little bit. Ooh, is there some? Yes, there is. There's some washi here that kind of looks like Sally. Okay, so I use um, I'll use Jack Skellington one because this is all that same print, Sally's print. So we'll put this one in between, and then grab this one. How about that? Fun. So much fun. Okay. All right. So then I have some room to play with half boxes and my full boxes. I love zero. So cute. And then it's like full popcorn there. 
I like the shoes too. There's like all these accessories. Okay, so I think I'm gonna grab this one. I like the shoes. That's a lot of fun. I'm gonna put this one here. Probably put my half box underneath it. And then put this one probably down here. So which one would be good there? I think zero would be good down there because the orange in the next box next to it. I think that would be good. Nice. Okay. And then up here on Wednesday, we'll do this one. I'm thinking the backpack needs to be on a different day than Jack. See, now I'm thinking I should have put Jack up here and then put the weekend banner down. That might still happen. We'll come down with this one just a little bit. I might add some washi here and there. Especially with this, like, Halloween washi that's in this kit. Pretty awesome. Okay, and then half box is probably going to go there, so I want this one to go a little bit higher. We'll put the half box there. And then I definitely want Jack and Sally. So even if I can only include two more, then that will be my two. I think I'm going to go here with her. Oh, that's the same background as that one. Okay, so he's going to go over here. That's the same background as that one. See my conundrum here? Okay, so then it needs to be this one. Needs to be this one, so it's a little bit different background. And then these two can go over here, so I'm going to peel that back up. I know, I'm just too ready to put down that weekend banner. And I always think that I'm going to forget to do it, so then I should just go ahead and do it. That's usually what I end up doing. Okay, do I want them right next to each other? I think so. I think I want them right next to each other. We're going to go with that and that, and then I might not use the weekend banner. I haven't decided. There we go. Okay. Here, we'll try to stick it down here, okay? A little bit. But there you go. Got it. Okay. And then we do have this washi and that washi too. But I need to throw down my half boxes. Hopefully as quickly as possible. We are like, storms are coming. Storms are coming, so I gotta hurry. Okay. We want to try to color block just a smidge here and there. Okay, put that one there. This one, background's the same over here. Oh, crooked. So crooked though. There you go. And then yellow. Where's my yellow? I have yellow over here. Do that one over here. And then I have the stripey, stripey one is right there. So we're somewhat pattern blocking. It's not extreme. <laughs> okay, I don't have room for a half box over here. And I usually, this is like videos on Instagram. So I don't really have to like have that in there. This one's gonna go here, go with Jack, and then we'll go with this one because it matches the background of that. That works for me, I like it. And then as far as washi tape goes, I have the chunks that I could use, or I can use these stripey things, which is fun too. But I think I will, there's some jack-o'-lanterns here and there. I think I want this one here. I still want a little bit of white space, I think, in this spread just to make the stickers pop a little bit more. Put a chunk here. I think I'm gonna fill it in, but there's gonna be like little white like gaps. So it's not gonna be completely filled in. Hopefully that doesn't bother anybody. Okay, I'm gonna put this one here. Done with that, because there's not much left after I tear that off. That one's done. And then we have this one is awesome as well love it okay this one's a little wide for trying to squeeze in over here but we could squeeze it in up here i'm gonna move this just a smidge i can squeeze this wonderful washi in i love her removable stickers they are my favorite because then i can rearrange my spread just a little bit here and there to like use what i want to use you know not a lot of space there, but I think it's okay. I'm going to go all the way up with it. So I just want to use it. I like this one. I don't have any Nightmare Before Christmas washi tape. I don't even know if that's a thing that people have. Okay, put this one here. And then we should have enough 
it over here. Let's put that there. Just a little bit left. There we go. Got that one in. And then I don't think I wasn't planning on using anything else really. Should I put this one more right here? I think so. So it kind of gives it a box element over there. But I think that looks good just like that. Yes, I do. So I have lots of leftovers and deco. So maybe I'll bring that to use in my teacher planner or in my dashboard planner. Kind of throwing those in here and there. I've kind of not been using quarter boxes as much. I don't know why. I just haven't. It hasn't been a thing for me. Okay, so Halloween clips that we need to have in this spread. We definitely want to grab, ooh, probably the spooky moon because we have the moon. And then I think that I want this one. And who else? Who else? Who else? Do we want the, ooh, that's what I want. I want the owl. I do want the owl. There's some purple in the spread. And then I want jack o' lantern in there. And we have the spooky moon. And then what else? One more? One more. We'll do this one because it kind of goes with the black and white elements in the spread. Ooh, I love it so much. I'm so excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little spread. I feel like this looks so white, but I promise stickers go there and writing goes there and it'll all look fabulous. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.